something I haven't done before. I haven't done an aftermath prelude here. Oh, we're by the pit entrance here, so watch some of the cars come back out. This car here. Aftermath, the old will be from earlier. Held up pretty well, actually. Still good for another run, I believe. I would say so, anyway. Now, from the Pro Mini or the Pro Unibody class, this uh, newer Impala. Yeah, held up. A lot better than I thought it would, to be honest. A hell of a lot better, actually. No, I, would, I think I would actually run one of these. Swap the suspension out. I think about the swap the K-frame. One of the cars I was left over from the feature. They're still packing up on the sides there. We walk on through, past the Oldsmobile once again. So as we go through, this car up here, the number 81, was the best dressed car. Yeah, it's slick out here, it's muddy. This is like the door peeled back. Yeah, the doors getting peeled back. Wow. Grand Prix. So you go through on more. Aftermath <laughs> feature car. Not around here. Another one from the feature. A lot of mud in this one. Just watching every cars are going through. Cars and tractors and all that. Ooh, ripped the door. Another rear ends of these are plowing. Actually, went in pretty well. The mouth of one of the caprices started to roll up nice in the back. Again, the track was so wet, couldn't really do anything. Not a lot of movement with the rear wheel drives. Be good for another run. Where are you going to run it next? Uh, probably there. That's uh, Thanksgiving, isn't it? The Caprice wagon from earlier, or uh, Roadmaster wagon. I just call it a bubble wagon. With 90s GMs. I don't know what took him out. I think he just got stuck. It's good for another run. Sorry, it's a bit loud out here and I can't hear myself, can't hear a lot. Oh, still fresh. And this uh, 80s wagon. I think the left front and the steering locked up. But again, it was so wet, not much traction. Oh yeah, still cherry. And there's Zach's workshop there. Have a ticket second in the feature. Nope, just 
So if anybody wants to know what it's like after the derby, after your car is done, this is what it's like putting a car in the trailer. It's already been smashed. <laughs> Good work, Zachary. Good I learned not to come be sixes. No. Look at how hard you that thing was freaking boiling hot right from the get go. You know, a four cylinder would have stayed running. No. I don't even think a four cylinder one had a rat. I know. Both the four cylinders. Him and I were both in the same I think I guessed the same person who did. I eat ass on this. You're fucking fucking. Whoop. Whoop. No, I'm starting it. <laughs> Just touching the wire off the positive. She plowed in good. I couldn't hit anybody. Couldn't hit anybody. The thing is, me and my wife's giving me shit. He says, oh, you're a pussy, you're a pussy. Did you see how funny you was? You're going to get moving, never mind hitting it. Wait till the trailer tells. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there, that's good. Let me put it in the car. And this is another way that it's like if your car is too messed up on the trailer, they'll use the lift, the forklift, bobcat, whatever.